Barry Calibo is, is the largest chocolate maker in the world. We use a quarter of the world's cocoa crop. So we believe that we have a responsibility to ensure that farmers who are growing cocoa particularly are making a positive return, a living income from cocoa. Their children are not working on the farms and they're not deforesting. So we have made a public commitment which is called, based around a strategy called Forever Chocolate, where we will eradicate child labour in our supply chain, not just cocoa but all our supply chain. We will get 500,000 cocoa farmers out of poverty, we will be carbon and forest positive and we will be 100% sustainable by 2025. I think it's a, it's a, it's a question of looking at uh, you know, what is, what's in it for us and what's in it for the farmer. So if you look at the crop of cocoa particularly, you could have some concerns about the supply. But the reality is that actually there's oversupply at the moment and the price is going down. But the oversupply is still being grown by farmers who are in poverty, a lot of whose children are working on the farms in West Africa. And they've been doing deforesting, particularly in Ivory Coast. And we don't believe that's shared value. Shared value is, is, is farmers who are rehabilitating existing farms, perhaps consolidating their farms, have, running their farms as businesses, making a very good return, whose children are going to school, have the right to an access to education, have the right to be children, and that they're not deforesting national parks, reserve forests, while expanding their farms, that they're consolidating on farms that are not being used by existing farmers. So it's important to us that they are sound businessmen making a very good return out of growing cocoa at the bottom of our raw material supply chain. It's not something that is going to sort itself out. It has to be a positive strategic development within your organisation to say that you are going to think very long term in environments where we all have to think short term. Overcome that cultural problem in the company and make public statements and public commitments about what you're going to do and make sure it's, it, the driver behind it is, is a win-win for everybody in your supply chains.